Are you not sure what to pack for a Caribbean cruise? Let Mrs. Tips and I show you how we're going to pack our lightest ever for a four night Caribbean sailing. So if you have a three or four night cruise, this might be perfect for you. Or even really, you could do this for a seven night cruise. And the reason why is you can simply do laundry on the ship one time. So come along and watch Mrs. Tips and I pack for a four night sailing. I'm going to try to fit this all only in a backpack while she's going to try to fit this in a carry on size for her. Let's see what happens. Okay, if you'd rather see Mrs. Tips and see what she packs, be sure to check the timestamps below. But for a Caribbean sailing, I'm bringing pretty much the same type of clothes each time. Now, my goal is to fit everything in this backpack, like I said. However, I have a carry-on suitcase back there just in case this doesn't work. First things first, let's talk about what we're gonna need for the pool. We are going to need two long sleeve shirts because I don't wanna get sunburned. Two swimming trunks, which can double as your lounge and shorts as well. And one dry fit t-shirt. Now, one common theme that you're gonna hear on your cruise or at least you're gonna invent it, is called clarity. That's clean and dirty. Many of these clothes are gonna be clarity and worn more than once. So for a four night sailing, I don't need four trunks and four tops that I might be out in the sun in. T-shirts, I'm gonna have three pairs of t-shirts. Two pairs of shorts, and this pair of shorts, I could technically wear in the trunks if I, as trunks if I want. Three polos. Now you might be wondering, hey, but what about the dining room? Okay, to be fair, we're actually not gonna go in the dining room this time. On our last cruise, we did 14 times in one week, but we are not gonna do the dining room. If I was doing the dining room, I would definitely be using the carry-on luggage over here and just making everything fit easier because then I would just have a pair of, one pair of slacks, still the same polos, and dress shoes, and a couple pairs of dress socks. But literally, that is the only difference I would do. So now that we have my swimwear and my day-to-day -day stuff, we'll talk about the other items of clothes. One long sleeve shirt, kind of like a little sweater, you know, for those uh, chilly nights walking on the pool deck. I mean, for the plane in case it gets cool. But ladies, you might want something a little bit long as well. Nine pairs of underwear because I don't want to run out of clean underwear and seven pairs of socks. And one of my favorite things to do is getting something new before a cruise. For me this time, it is a brand new pair of shoes, which isn't necessarily smart because they're not broken in yet, but it's going to be a lot of walking, but not as much as like our European cruise when I bought a new pair of shoes and didn't break them in, which was a mistake. However, in my cruise essentials, I'll let you know on what you can do to take care of that. And a pair of flip flops, that's going to be easy. An iPad, a reusable water bottle. It's a must. But I'm not gonna bring Big Blue this time because it's kind of big and I'm gonna get a 12 pack of water as well on this cruise. So I'm just gonna bring a lighter Adidas bottle that will fit inside of my bag over here. So that'll be much easier. Let's talk electronics. You don't need a lot for electronics, but I just use a fast charging cable like this. This is gonna charge my phone and this is gonna charge my watch, the other one right here. So I'm good just on this right here. Or you can have a little multi-plug block, but remember there are some things banned now. So you just want a normal multi-plug adapter that is just USBs and nothing else on Royal Caribbean specifically. Okay, let's talk specifically. Well, first, is all this gonna fit in here? Let's watch to see if Mrs. Tips can use these packing cubes over here and make that work. I think she's going to, but like I said, I got the carry-on size luggage just in case anyways. Now a couple of the key essentials that we're gonna need are as follows. My little medicine bag here. I wanna use some downy wrinkle spray. This is a must. Tide to go wipes. Until I had tie to go stick or tie to go wipes, I never realized how many messes I actually made on my shirt. But this is definitely a mess, a must. My little medicine in here with my motion sickness medicine. Gotta have some motion sickness medicine. Even if you don't get sick, you might run into, you know, a little bit of rough weather from time to time and you're gonna want some. 
Otherwise, make sure you eat green apples on the ship because those will help as well. Chafing stuff. And do you think that Febreze is good for the bathroom? It's pretty good, but potpourri spray, which I never knew, I thought it was just stuff in here. This is the best. So make sure you get some of this. All these items are gonna be linked in the description as well. So if you don't have some of these, make sure you pick them up. Now, I'm gonna turn it over to Mrs. Tips so you can see what she's gonna pack for this lovely four night cruise where we're not gonna eat in the main dining room for dinner one time. We tried, we gave it a good effort. Now to be fair, if this bigger part, if the front part was the same as the back, this would have fit, no problem, but I could shove it and but I'd probably bust the bag. So we're switching to carry on, no big deal. What if we had compression cubes, you think it would have worked then? Possibly, but I know people, everyone has their own opinion, but the compression ones I feel like get heavier. It, yes, it makes it smaller, but it adds more weight. Um, so I don't know that that would necessarily make too much of a difference, but that's fine. Let me just make sure these are zipped. Now, this is gonna be a lot easier, and while it is carry-on size and you can technically bring it um, right on the ship with you, oftentimes I'll put a luggage tag on that and just give it to the porter, yeah. uh, especially if you're gonna board early. Now, we have a 12.30 p.m. boarding, but we're gonna get there like 10.30 and probably see what happens. I mean, even with the two cubes and the bathroom stuff, these will be in like a carry-on like backpack or something. Everything fits with room to spare. So if some of my stuff doesn't fit in mine, I can put it in here, mm. but my stuff will fit. But you don't need a lot. You really, really, really don't. Everyone's like, oh, like I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna wear it. You're really not. You're gonna be in swimwear most of the day, even in November, I promise. It's still warm there. <laughs> I looked it up. It's still gonna be high 70s, 80s. You're gonna be in your swimwear. You're gonna be in your sundresses. You're not gonna be wearing five outfits a day. So just don't pack for it. You're just, you're just not. Awesome, now we just gotta put our luggage tag in, right? Yes. <laughs> I have to go get that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna fly out tomorrow. We're packing the night before. Um, and as you can see, if we were doing a uh, main dining room, there'd be plenty of room for a pair of dress shoes yes. and a pair of slacks. So you still uh, have space. Flying with just a travel carry-on size, easy to do. All right, let's see what Mrs. Tips has to do All right. now. So let's talk about a very quick, easy pack job. Now, normally, if we like we've said, if we're doing main dining, I'm gonna have more clothes, maybe some more shoes. But even then, I don't go too fancy. You don't have to. Now, if you're doing it specifically because you want family photos or things like that, which you do see that a lot, perfectly understandable, pack the extra stuff. But for me, I'm just bringing some, I'll call them pajama loungy clothes just for in the room, like when I'm getting ready or going to bed, things like that, um, just for comfort. And I am bringing four sports bras. I say that because they're more comfortable for me, that's why. Um, I do work out, but it's also, you get hot. This is still a Caribbean cruise, even in November, it is rather sweaty. So instead of like ruining my other bras that I would wanna wear at night and not having to worry about laundry, I'll put one of these on instead, just to save some clothes. I did bring one sundress. Um, it's a, a longer sundress, it's very flowy, very breathable that I can obviously wear more than once if I wanted to. I do have a longer um, sleeve cardigan. Uh, it's very thin because at night it does get rather chilly on the ship as you're walking around. I mean, they usually have the air cranking pretty good. I'm kind of sensitive to that. So I do have a cardigan that I carry with me on every cruise we take. As far as swimwear, I'm just doing two swimsuits and like a sundress cover up. Um, and I could also wear this as a dress if I needed to, but I'm not really planning on it. I have two very lightweight breathable tank tops, one that has a fancier pattern and one that's just plain kind of cotton. Denim shorts, I love my Judy Blues, I highly recommend it. Um, I know they're not sponsoring anything, I just like them. And I do have one kind of button down short sleeve top 
it's a little dressier um, just so I have that option if I wanted to we'll see and again for super comfort I have a pair of my favorite leggings and just a little crop sweatshirt to wear around especially at night or when we're scripting or doing videos just to have something that's comfortable and just a pair of like Lululemon um, Capri kind of style just black leggings because they'll go with everything and what I'll call my going home outfit my airplane outfit another pair of leggings and a t-shirt because at the end of the cruise you don't want to have to worry about I'm wearing shorts but I'm going somewhere cold all those things so I always just come prepared so I don't have to wear what I came originally in I'll have a fresh set and not have to worry about laundry okay socks I always fly in like lightweight tennis shoes um, not sandals I pack my sandals I am bringing one pair of sandals by the way um, so I am only bringing four pairs of socks because I am gonna wear the sandals most of the time but if you're walking around the room or if you're going on an excursion and you want to wear tennis shoes it's good to have just a couple pairs but let's be real ladies we're probably gonna wear sandals most of the time um, as far as bathroom essentials some things you need to know realistically speaking if you think it's gonna be that time please come prepared um, it will cost you a great deal of money if you forget or something comes up um, it is hard to find exactly what you need also so just save some space bring what you need just in case that unfortunate thing happens as far as essentials for the bathroom I always 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 bring like a small face scrub if you're putting sunscreen on you're by the ocean you're by the pool the chlorine all that stuff it messes with your face you can break out I don't bring the big ones it's just these little ones and when they're gone I throw them out but they're amazing I am a contacts wearer so I do bring a travel size thing of contact solution yes it costs more money but you're gonna pay an arm and a leg if you buy it on the ship so just suck it up you can refill it with your big one we all have those ginormous ones at home just refill it and bring it every time now on the ship they do have like a three-in-one shampoo conditioner body wash thing in the shower it's okay it does fine for your body but if you have kind of a mixed textured hair especially mine I have like kind of dry hair I bring my own just small shampoo just so that I have my choice and I don't have to use that I've used it before it does okay but it just doesn't feel as clean as the stuff I would normally use at home now my absolute favorite makeup remover wipes oddly enough I use these in a hotel in Indiana and I fell in love with them and immediately went to Amazon to try to buy them and I found that like a box of 50 of these individual wipes and now they're my absolute favorite like so much that I almost don't want to use them too much because I don't have to buy them a whole whole lot but they were not horribly expensive but I've never had a makeup remover wipe actually take every speck of makeup off except for this one so I, we will have that link in there totally worth it and they're already individually packaged so it's one and done I don't have to worry about them like leaching fluid out you know what I mean if you've had those resealable ones they don't always seal well now this if you know you know kind of thing the head wrap for um, after washing your hair I do try to travel with these as much as possible I have forgotten them a couple times and I have dreaded it um, it is absolutely the best even on a trip it doesn't take up a lot of space so I always save some space for that and believe it or not all of this is gonna fit into one packing cube and then into my carry-on suitcase and I'm gonna show you how oh I also have glasses if you're a contacts wearer bring your backup glasses oh thanks and I get to pack my sunglasses find your sunglasses um, and the other thing I carry I kind of in like a, I guess a backpack I'm not sure if I'm gonna tote bag it this time or backpack it I'm not sure I do have to work a little bit so I do have to carry my laptop don't put that in the bag you're gonna give to the porter keep it with you obviously but I'll have like a book my laptop 
a refillable water bottle and that might be it. I do have a makeup bag. It's very small. I don't carry a lot of makeup, but I'm not gonna pack that till in the morning. But again, it will fit in my suitcase, no problem. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And let's talk about these. We did buy these for our Mediterranean cruise and they worked out really good. We were determined not to check luggage <laughs> and it worked out well. So these are actually just sunscreen. I know that seems crazy. Why wouldn't you put shampoo and conditioner in them? Well, I have a smaller one for that. I'm not gonna bring my whole house with me. This is the sunscreen that my husband uses and this is the sunscreen I can use. I have very sensitive skin, eczema, all the things, so I have to use a certain kind. I have one tiny travel size that the airline will allow spray. It is worth the money, I'm gonna say, if you just are not gonna check a bag, to just get one spray, especially for the men. So you don't have to like try to rub all that in again with sand and sweat and hair and all the nasty things. And just our um, sunscreen chapstick, things like that. And yes, let's go ahead and stop the rumors. I do bring underwear, but I'm not gonna show you my underwear. I do pack 10 pair. I know that's like, oh, 10 pair. You never know. Okay, you get sweaty. I wanna feel clean. I have 10 pair. They're not very big, it's all good. But yes, I do pack underwear. Okay, just kidding. Bonus section. Two other things that we carry with us everywhere we go is a pop-up pamper. Now I get, this is not a pop-up pamper. We got a new one. So in the past we've had the ones that just kind of like pop up that have the wire frame. We really like those a lot, but this new one, it actually like hangs on the wall. And in most ships, there's two giant hooks like behind the door. So we hang it um, just behind the door and it just has a hole. You just shove all your dirty clothes in. It makes it just easier to not have stuff laying on the floor or you have to worry about that drawers for dirty clothes or something like that. We do always travel with like a fold up hamper. Otherwise you can also just hang that using our hooks. So this looks like a big old mess. I realize that, but we've traveled so much with them. I just started putting them in just like a zipper bag, but we have two sizes. One that can carry ooh, quite a bit of weight. It's a lot more heavy duty. It's my favorite ones. It's good for wet things, um, bigger size clothes, like for a man's clothes versus a female's clothes, um, all those things. It's legit heavy, heavy, heavy. We do have these light ones, which was the first set that we ever got. We realized it's good for hats, some kids things, like very light things, women's bikinis, things that aren't very heavy, they're fine for. But the big ones are the best, for sure. Yeah, magnet hooks are done by how much pound. Yes. So uh, a hundred pound magnet hook, hook is gonna hold about one third that weight. So about 33 pounds. So uh, figure 50 pounds is gonna hold uh, about 16, 17 pounds. And anyone, whichever one of us has the extra space, gets the hamper and the hooks. We always travel with them. They are essential for cruise ship travel, for sure. Now, Miss Tips does have the passports. Those are already packed away, and I make her show them to me tonight as well as tomorrow. So, as long as we have our passports and we can get on the ship, if we forget something, it is what it, it is. is. What it is. But these are pretty essential for a fun, less stressful trip to have a way to hang things up for sure. And I don't know if we're going to pack the night before a cruise again, because typically we have the pop-out basket and we just throw stuff in there as we start a couple weeks out from the cruise. That's usually right there by the suitcase. But This is the most stressed I think we've been in a while trying to go on a trip, but we're going to figure it out between the two of us. Last but not least, don't forget your luggage tags. Now, if you've seen these, you know, you know, we will link them in the description about these amazing sleeves to put those paper tags so that the porter knows exactly where your luggage should go. But we do have a wonderful video that shows you exactly what to do, how to attach it, all the things, learn from us, learn from our experience. This is Mrs. Tips. And Brian. Tips for cruisers. We'll see you in the next video.